Um, hello, it's me again, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I decided to, um, start, um, compounded trisepatide. Well, um, to make a long story short, I have probably been overweight, obese, super obese, some form of a weight problem, probably since, um, puberty or right before puberty started. And that's probably around the third grade because I, um, got my first cycle in the fourth grade. So, um, probably around 10, 11-ish. And I'm 39 now. So, I've had a weight problem um, for almost 30 years. And I'll be 40 next year. So, a majority of my life, I've had a weight problem. Um, I wasn't a fat baby. I was actually a very small um low weight baby and um so I can't say that I don't ever remember being skinny or thin I remember it I don't necessarily know that I cherished I didn't I don't know that I cherished it because I was just young and I was just small so I don't I don't know it's funny to say I don't know That I cherished it. Like thinness is something that should be cherished. Uh, I don't know. But it was just who I was at the time. Just like um, being super obese is something that I am at this time. But... I do remember being smaller. I remember one of my earliest memories was being in preschool. And I was really so tiny. And they were doing this fashion show. And they had all of these clothes. It was like a back-to-school fashion show at a church. And they had all of these clothes that they wanted us to model. But I was super tiny, like super tiny. And the clothes were like falling off of me. And I just remember... Um, being up there trying to model the little clothes. And this is like, I probably was like four. Yeah, I probably was four. Um, I was four years old and I remember modeling in this church. And I remember just having to hold the, hold the little shorts that they had on me because they were going to fall off while I was trying to do my little model walk. And, um... I don't necessarily that I want my clothes to fall off of me, but I just remember, I just remember being really, really small and not being able to wear clothes. And you know, that's probably an issue. I mean, that's not my issue um, at this moment, but that's probably an issue for, um, because you know, when you're, you're modeling, you just have to wear the sizes that they have. Um, I mean, this was like a church fashion show (laughs) it wasn't like design or anything like that but you know um it wasn't like my mom went to the store and and couldn't get my size but um I don't know that she really had any problems finding me clothes then not like I have issues now trying to find clothes and being super short um doesn't help because if you do find something that might fit you then the proportions might not be right and you need to get it altered and it's just a headache um I don't know if people I feel like people take for granted being able to go into a store and finding something that fits um just off the rack just being able to like go and just get your size and put it on and um and just being able to go home with it 
and it not being an issue or it not being um what's the word like it's not having to be a whole process or production I just want to be able to just go to the store any store I don't want to have to go to special stores or I don't want to have to shop online or I don't want to have to um you know have to go to the plus size and only have like matronly things I do dress like a grandmother but that's just because I've been dressing like a grandmother probably ever since I became overweight I mean it's hard being an overweight child trying to find trying to find um kid appropriate clothing or preteen or teenage appropriate clothing that'll fit you um when you're having to sh- shop you know like in the Delta Burke collection area or like a specialty store like a Catherine's um or Lane Bryant I don't I don't know that they had tore it back when I was coming of age or um Ashley Stewart I think Ashley Stewart might have just been kind of popping up kind of popping up towards the end of my teens or maybe but I really wasn't familiar with Ashley Stewart um but mainly they just had like um Catherine's and um Elaine Bryant's they kind of like you know had the choke hold in in my uh community so to speak um so I've been some form well I'll just say I had an unhealthy relationship with food and um I've been large three-fourths of my life. Oh, that's like 75%. That's crazy. Three-fourths of my life. It's crazy as I vocalize this, but uh, for three-fourths of my life. And I decided that I, um, since I'm about to turn 40, I just didn't really want to go into my 40s with all of the excess baggage that I've been carrying around for these last um, three decades, basically. Um, And I just didn't want to do it anymore. And I needed something that I could try to do that might actually work. And I felt that um, since my insurance isn't that good, I can't really get, like, um, an affordable gastric surgery without having to leave the country. And um, so I said that I would try this first to see how it works and then if it doesn't work then I'll probably just have to uh, find a way to finance um, finance um, like a sleeve surgery or something like that but I just can't continue to go on how I have been going on I do eventually think I need to seek um, therapy just to talk through and work through my issues. Um, But I'm not necessarily ready to do that just yet. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to vocalize some of my thoughts and feelings and at least get them out. So, I am hopeful that this compounded terzepatide isn't trash and won't kill me and will help me lose the weight that I desperately need to lose. Um, just so I can um, flourish and not exist. On a certain level, I just feel that um my weight has been a hindrance to me um 
emotionally, physically, romantically, professionally, in essence, financially. And I just, I just need to change some things. So I'm just going to try to start here. I have previously, this isn't my first attempt at weight loss. I have previously, um, I think, uh, I think back in college was when I started to make a, um, an effort to try to lose weight. Uh, so I did like, um. I did like a slim fast diet before. I did some type of weight loss program that the college was doing, like support group type situation. I've done uh, Weight Watchers a few times. I did um, a liquid diet. I did um, like a, a low carb keto type situation like I've tried to lose weight possibly over I'm just gonna say maybe like over 10 times or so off and on throughout the years and um I have been able to lose weight um oh I did I forgot venturing mean I did that twice um I have been able to lose weight. It's just the, uh, I've only really been able to lose like small amounts. I think the most I've probably been able to use, lose, excuse me, probably was between like 25 and 30 pounds. But I, um, but it's hard for me to be consistent with it. Um, and it's hard for me to keep it off. So, I'm hoping that I can just um, keep going and have some um, lasting um, effects, one, and two, be able to lose a significant amount of weight. Because, I mean, losing 25 to 30 pounds is good, um, but, but I am super obese, so 25 to 30 pounds really just isn't going to cut it for me. Um, I need to lose a massive amount of weight, so, um, I'm just hopeful that things will work out, um, this time. So, I don't want to do any weird diets in combination with this, because really, I need to lose weight, and I need to do it with something that I can possibly stick with for the rest of my life so um I when I was talking to my doctor about GLP-1 she was talking about oh well people won't ever uh, have to get off of them but um I don't really want to be on them um forever ever <laughs> but I um I'm glad that it's something that I could possibly be on long term until I'm able to fully, you know, work through some of the other issues that I might have that um, that have made losing weight and keeping it off problematic or losing significant amounts of weight problematic for me. So um, this is kind of where I'm at. I have a lot of weight to lose and I need to try to get it off um I don't want to say quickly quickly but expeditiously <laughs> and um and if it doesn't work then I will have to move up to something else I'm hopeful and prayerful that it will work but I also know that I have to get the weight off by any means necessary so if it doesn't work I might have to switch over to a different um GLP-1 
or possibly get a surgery. So, um, this is kind of where I'm at right now. So, this is it. This is, um, I just felt like a stagnant in my life and I felt that like the weight was literally a dead weight on my leg like a ball and chain or an anchor and it was keeping me stagnant in a lot of ways and I just wanted to make some changes in my life so um, I can start to progress so that's all I got thanks